I've completely lost it. Like my brain is fried. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and in this episode we're going to be looking at Luke's midterm trading and some of Dale's trades. So enjoy and most importantly we're also going to be looking at a very interesting Amazon trade. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe and also click the join now button because it's awesome. Morning guys, it's been a long night for me. I didn't get much sleep because of the US election. I kind of pulled a bit of an all-nighter back in the office. I had quite a good evening. Um, I was quite sure elections weren't going to go the way they went, but you know, I was ready for anything. Uh, I was long quite a few indices, um, as you can see here. I got a really nice trade in on, on the NASDAQ. This is, um, I literally pulled it right at the bottom just before and got out literally right at the top. As you can see, this is my overnight trading. Uh, I made one loss of £2.29. The rest, what I often did is um, move my stop loss just to zero or take profit because I was like, you know, some of these lot sizes are quite high. It's quite a high risk event. You know, I think I made 5% last night, which is way above, you know, that's normally what I'd make in a month. So staying up all night has been way worth it. Whilst all this was going on, Fusion got out of a hedge, then it started buying, got in a buy here, closed for a nice 30 pip profit, came down, and you know, we're in another buy. So overall, it's been a really good 24 hours or however long I've been working for. <laughs> <laughs> I've completely lost it, like my brain is fried. Um, I've entered a few more uh, indices longs. Some of the indices were pulling back after the um, elections finished. They pulled back, so I was looking on 50 minute chart. Uh, I've re entered, see how they go today, wait for the US to open. Uh, obviously, the house has switched from Republicans to Democrats, <laughs> so um, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Obviously, they're asking for straight out, they're asking for um, Trump's tax bill. You know, there could be some really dodgy stuff in there, so we don't know what Trump has been up to. He obviously is a shady bloke when it comes to tax, so we'll have to see uh, what happens. Um, it's going to be really interesting. Yeah, so this morning, got it nice and early. Um, Pretty much within 15 minutes, half an hour, we took uh, a long euro yen long. Um, the midterms had happened overnight, so it's, everything had pretty much settled. Indices were rallying, so um, markets were looking pretty strong. So we took a, a scalp on euro yen, um, just off the pivot, um, going with the trend. Um, we're currently sitting at R1, so if these bars close in the next 15 minutes as they are, we'll probably look to close. Uh, if not, we might see a, a move further to the upside. Uh, Euro yen was 1% uh, gain, um, it's only about a quarter percent risk though. Uh, and gold is looking like it's going to be just shy of half percent gain, again, a quarter percent risk. Strong day trading. Today I've been at trading way too much. Obviously, I was up all night trading the elections. I've still got a few longs open, but I found myself getting greedy. I've been opening more positions, kind of layering buys into indices. The market hasn't even opened yet. I'm trading when I shouldn't be, so you need to realize that sometimes. So I've put all my kind of stops in and I'm just going to leave it, do some other stuff, play on the pinball machine, play some pool, play some cod, relax. I've made 1.7% today, which is plenty. You can over trade and you get greedy, you know, you see the kind of cash rolling in and it becomes stupid. So sometimes you just need to stop and knowing when to stop is important and right now is stop time. So I'm done trading for today. So guys, it's been an interesting episode in this video indeed. We've watched some awesome trades and most importantly, don't forget to check out Elliot's Amazon trade in the exclusive content of exactly why he entered and the thought process behind buying Amazon. So to see this exclusive content, make sure you click the join now button down below and you'll be able to go and see all of this information. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.